it's that time of the month again no my goodness that just threw me back to premenopause uh yeah i don't do that anymore but it is the time of the month when we go through the favorites i didn't have one last month so this one's kind of loaded with things that i'm really enjoying and i hope that you will enjoy this as well and if you do please give it a thumbs up if you are new to my channel i welcome you in and ask you to please subscribe if you like the content and i'm so glad that you're here along with all of my regular viewers who i'm very happy to have back as usual thank you so much for your support and now that you're here with me i am going to tell you that tomorrow which is friday july 19th this will probably go up quite a bit after that but i am having surgery to have my gallbladder out i've been in so much pain with that that stupid gallbladder thing you know when i lost all my weight it just makes your gallbladder get full of stones and i have a whole family not only do i have the kids and the grandkids and the parents but i have the aunts and the uncles and the nieces there is a ton of stones in there and i've been in misery so i'm happy to be doing that but the reason that i'm telling you that is not only because i like to let you in on a little bit of what's going on in my life but also because you're going to be seeing this silly shirt and all of the jewelry and everything in every single video like i'm batch filming like four of them just so you know that. So let me tell you about the shirt because I always get asked. So I always tell what I have on. The shirt is a fun t-shirt. It's just got this pedal sleeve right here. V-neck really flattering to elongate the neck. Just about hip length. Nice t-shirt. Very stretchy, very soft. And I would also tell you to size up on this one because it is very slim fitted. And then the jewelry that I have on along with all of the makeup and the bracelet, the fingernails, everything, all of that will be listed and linked below for you as well as always. And I always put in all of my organization that I have right here behind me for you because you get asked about that too. So all of that will be way down in the description box, almost to the bottom so that you know that. All right, let's get into the products. This month was really fun for me because I did discover some really fun new things. I discovered these fragrance mists from Target. This is the Finery line. I think they have perfumes. I'm pretty sure they have perfumes too, but I liked the mists because it was just something that I could put in my hair, spritz it completely all over my body. I love a really good mist. Like I love the Sol de Janeiro, but these are fun too. So this one is I Am Musk really beautiful musk smell. It's a bright musk smell. You know how some of them can be deep and kind of woodsy with the musk. This one just reminds me of a really bright musk smell. It's very kind of fresh and I really liked that one. And then this one is the pistachio please. And this one, I said that this was a lot like the pistachio perfume from KLE and it is, but that one is, uh, again, it's a very heavy fragrance. That one from KLE. This one is a very light, almost citrusy type note to it. Somebody said it reminded them of the Bum Bum Cream from Sol de Janeiro. I don't get that vibe from it as much. I feel like it's got a lot more fruity tones to it, and it does have that really great pistachio vanilla fragrance to it. But yeah, these are good. And they're not like the normal body mists that just go away. Of course, I sprayed one in my hair the other day. I swear it was there for like the whole two days before I washed, but I love these. I think they're really good and I'm excited to have them. And then while I was doing my Korean skincare beauty video, which by the way, if you haven't seen that, I'll make sure I link it for you, but I found some really amazing new Korean skincare. So I wanted to tell you about the three new ones that I found that I'm so impressed with. The first one is from Benton, and you know I've used Benton products for years. I used their Bifida and Galactomyces, and such a good product for anti-aging, brightening, so good. This is the Snail Bee Ultimate Toner. Benton Snail Bee Ultimate Toner helps, gen helps gentle and deep moisture, nourishment, and elasticity to the skin by containing Saccharomyces Snail Secretion Filtrate, Ferment Filtrate, Naturally Derived Moisturizing Ingredients, Multiple Peptides, and Bee Venom. Okay, this is a super powerhouse essence. It's very watery. But I do find that as I'm using this, I'm noticing my skin is so hydrated. I mean, it just feels super duper hydrated. And the other thing that I'm excited about is the peptides in here. Everybody is loving the Snail Mucin from Cosrx, which is a fantastic product, don't get me wrong, but this one has it in there along with all the other good ingredients and the fermentation products and the bee venom. 
with peptides. This is just so good. I'm so, so excited about this. I've been using it morning and night for a couple weeks. Can't wait to see long-term results, but the ingredients in here, they kind of speak for themselves. They're just that good. The other one that I'm really enjoying is from Beauty of Joseon. This one is the Ground Rice and Honey Glow Mask. This will polish your skin so pretty. It has the husks of rice ground up in there and that's part of the physical exfoliant but then you're getting the honey in there that is super duper hydrating this one i'm really in love with i love how that you can feel that honey just giving you that extra dose of hydration this one is a really good one and i do feel like after you wipe it off after you're done you know polishing your skin you do have a lot of glow to your skin and all of the dead skin cells the sebum the dirt everything is going to come out of your pores and you're just going to be left with some Something so smooth and pretty and so this one has been a welcome addition to my skincare routine and then with the numbuza number four I did talk about numbuza number three in a video I did like three years ago that it was a beautiful essence for giving you this hyper glow and super moisturizing and I still love that it's one of those ones that has a little bit of oils in it and you shake it up and it mixes together it makes a gorgeous essence however underneath makeup sometimes in the summertime that can get to be too much because you do have breakthrough and you can get you know a little bit of oily spots which we all do but you still need the moisture if you're a dry gal like i am that's what this does i put this on before my makeup so it's what i use in the morning and i feel like this makes my skin super smooth underneath makeup you're plumping your skin this is a super hydrator boosting beyond whatever moisturizer you use this is going to be a really great addition to your routine if you're somebody that's dry and you need that hyper moisturization. Now, if you're somebody that's combo to oily, you might think of using this as your moisturizer. When I've been somewhere where it's really humid, what I'll do is I'll use this, use my serums, then use my SPF, and I don't even use a heavy moisturizer on top of that. And this works so good because you're not putting so many layers on before you put your makeup on. So yeah, I've been really happy with this as well as all the other Korean skincare that I've gotten. And then I rediscovered this one, Penny from Penn Smith Skincare. She talked about this years ago and I had completely forgotten about it. It was in my drawer and you know how you're looking through things and you're like, oh my gosh. So I actually bought a new one because I knew that that one was probably past its prime. And this is from Thank You Farmer. This is the Sun Project Shimmer Sun Essence. This is an SPF of 30. This is brightening and wrinkle care. So you're getting the great sun care. I have this debate with somebody going on recently about whether a 30 or a 50 is okay for your skin. Actually, it really doesn't matter. The National Dermatologist Association, I looked up in their information and a 30 is what they suggest to everybody and a 50 doesn't really offer you that much more protection than a 30 does that's just the science of it so i'll link that article if i remember to do that below if not one of you remind me and i'll make sure i do that but what i love about this one is not only are you getting that sun protection you're getting this beautiful super glow i love the hydration again i'm such a gal that is always looking for extra hydration but it just gives this beautiful glow to your skin because it has that little bit of shimmer in there. No glitter, absolutely none, but man, this makes your skin glow. So on the days when you're just wanting to run around town and you don't really want to put any makeup on, you're going to have glowy skin. They're going to be looking at you like you're sweating or something. <laughs> I don't know. It's just pretty. It's just really, really pretty. So really like this one and great sun protection. And I did have that same person talk about that I'm not talking about reapplying sunscreen. I do believe in reapplying sunscreen every two to three hours. Please do that. When I have makeup on, it's a spray. And I can list that down below this. I actually use one from Naked Sundays. And it's just a beautiful mist. It's really super fine. It is a 50 SPF. I don't think that they're a Korean skin brand, but I will make sure that I list and link that for you as well. ColourPop also came out with their new liquid blushes. Oh my goodness. These are so pretty. For a time there like a whole entire week when i was testing these out these were all i used and i'm really impressed with how beautiful these are they are so much like the huda beauty ones they're thinner than the rare beauty ones but those can be a little bit overly pigmented at times i think so let me tell you what colors these are so you know i actually got all the colors but 
Um, this is IKTR. That's what this one is. So pretty. It's a very pretty mauve rose color. And then this one is, she's cute. I love their little heart on there. ColourPop always does cute with their packaging. Remember that ColourPop is cruelty free and it's made in LA. So it's made in the US. So those are Fun facts about them, I, ColourPop as a brand always stands out to me. They did a great job. I think th these blushes are every bit as beautiful as a high-end blush, and they're such a fraction of the cost of high-end, so I love those. I also discovered something that's been out for a really long time. Um, somebody also asked me, why don't I just keep my glasses on? Well, I don't keep my glasses on because it's hard for me to see long distance with these on, but I have to have them to read. So they go on and off. Hope it doesn't bug anybody. This is the Juvia's Place Cream Bronzer. This color is called Buttercream. This is so pretty. This is a pretty color for anybody that is more neutral to cool tone. Now, what I like about it is you can put a blush on top of it and it looks like a bronzer. This is a great tone also for contouring if you want to contour. Now, you're probably going to have a little bit harder time seeing it because I do have my tan, self tan on, but great texture on this one. I don't know if I've ever heard anybody talk about this, but that is so creamy in the way that it blends out. I had that makeup by Mario one. I think this one is better than that one. It has a little bit less pigment, which lots of times I can find that they blend out a little bit easier when they have a little bit less pigment, but I love this color. And I think that if you're somebody that is fair to medium, you're going to love it too. And then if you're darker, Juvia's Place is a black owned company. And so they have these really deep, rich, beautiful colors. So definitely check those out. I just think they're great. I am still loving the CoverGirl Aqua Smooth Makeup. I did a tutorial where I talked to you all about how to put on the cream makeup and it just was so flawless. This is great for anybody that has aging skin, anybody that has the wrinkles and the dryness that we get, and you need a little bit of extra coverage, but you don't want too much. You want your skin to still look like skin. You can completely customize this. And so if you need heavy coverage, you can get that. But if you need a very thin coverage, you can get that too. Beautiful cream makeup. This one reminds me a lot of the Good Apple Foundation that is the cream from KVD Beauty. Yeah, so this one is gorgeous. This is, mine is in buff beige. beige beige where did beige come from anyway so pretty i really like that one now i do want to tell you about a couple of fails the first one is from charlotte tilbury and that is her stick foundation this was a greasy mess on my skin it went on pretty but i couldn't get enough powder on my skin to make it not be greasy and that was hard and then during the day it, it broke up because it's just way way too greasy so that's coming from somebody that has super dry skin and mature skin. So, you know, when I say something's greasy, it's beyond greasy for somebody that's combo or oily. So this one was just, it didn't work for me. And it's funny because it says it's a sheer glow tint. So you would think it hydrating foundation stick. So they were going for the hydration. They nailed the hydration. It's overly hydrating, I think. So this was not for me. The other two I was so dang disappointed in because this cost me a bloody ton of money. Uh, these are the Victoria Beckham liners and I got the eyeliner and I got the lip liner Why I was so disappointed in them is Well, you can see it just broke right there because it's so soft the other thing As it's just smudging is it smudges like a bugger. I mean, it's it's terrible These I was expecting something to be waterproof budge proof These are not these are not anything like that at all and the lip liner, same thing. It was just so, I could barely get it on because it was just like, where's the pigment? Where's the, you know, the lasting power of it for the price? I know that these were like over 30 bucks or around 30 bucks. So for me, this was super disappointing. I bought like three of the eyeliners and then the lip liner. So yeah, this, this to me, you know, I've heard people rave about them. And I was just so disappointed. It really smudged down my face, the eyeliner, and yeah, just kind of a disappointment for me. But we press on, and we press on to try the Sephora Collection little palettes. These are so pretty. I'm really stumbling over my words, and it's probably because I'm nervous about tomorrow. But these are the Precious Gemstones, and I have the four of them. So let's start out with the first one. This one is, and maybe the color is somewhere, but I'm not finding it, so this one, is called 37A. I don't know what color this one is because I seriously cannot see 
that they have a color on here. That is so weird. So this one is the lightest one I, they have. And they might have six of them. I have four. Um, but pretty, really, really pretty, nice shadows. You know how much I love ColourPop shadows? These are every bit as good as ColourPop. However, the pigment is not as high. I kind of like that as I'm getting into doing my eyeshadow a little bit lighter these days. So I did appreciate it, but at the same time, if you're somebody that's used to that high pigment, you might not. This one is 38A. I don't know. Roll with it, I guess, Melissa. Anyway, I really have been loving these beautiful shimmers or metallics. And then you get this big pan always in there that is a very base color. And what's pretty is like you get a dark palette like this if you're light like me. You can mix it with that lighter color and then you get lighter shadows, which is really nice on that one. And then the next one, let's get the glasses again. This one is also 38A. So that's not the color. <sighs> I seriously cannot see any names. Oh my gosh. It's on the top. It's on the top. Okay. So the first one is called Pearl. No wonder it's the lightest one. That second one that has all the mauves in it. I'm such a numbnut. That one is called Titanium Quartz. Very pretty rose colors in there with a burgundy in there. This one is called Pyrite. This one is pretty. So this is your essential neutral palette. Um, little tiny bit on the warm side, but I did wear these today as well. I did wear this darker one on my bottom lash line. It's really pretty. Well, I, that was not a good swatch, Melissa. Okay, so there it is. So, so pretty. Um, again, that big pan of the neutral color that you can use. So this one's a little bit warmer if you like a little bit warmer palette. You know what this one reminds me of? Uh, ColourPop's Going Coconuts palette. That reminds me of that one. And then the last one is called Jade. This is really pretty. So you get a lot of green colors in here, but they're kind of neutral green. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean off my hand and I'm going to swatch this one for you so you can see every color because these are really pretty colors. Just put these on here see what we get. So hopefully you can see those. Those are quite light swatches because I didn't want to go too deep in there. And then we have that super light color, which you can't see. I'm not even going to swatch that one. And then that one right there, which is this mid-tone right here. So they're pretty colors, really beautiful colors. I'm not the greatest swatcher on the planet, but they are very pretty. I really, really love these two olive colors. And if you're somebody that does like that warmer look, these are really beautiful. I did take this color right here and I just took it a little bit on my finger and I just tapped it a little bit across the middle of my eye to give a little bit of depth to my eye look today. Very pretty. And if you're somebody that's tried these, sound off in the comment section so we know that, so that we can hop on board if you like them too. If you don't like them, let us know that too so that we don't hop on board. All right, the last thing, I got this because I thought it was gonna be on Prime Days, but it wasn't, but it's still such a good deal. For the Revlon Super Lustrous, the glosses, and there's five of them in here. You could keep a couple, give a couple, you could keep them all, you could give them all, whatever. If you have a granddaughter um, that loves lip gloss, this is probably a really good one for her. So you get two creams in here and then you get the shimmers in here and they're just beautiful colors. I'm not gonna swatch all of these. Most of you already know how nice the glosses are from Revlon. It's not a sticky gloss, but it is a little bit thicker of a gloss, so it's gonna stay with you. And that's actually what I really love about it is that they do stick around for a long time. So I think that I'm gonna actually give this as a gift. That's why I'm not swatching all of them for you. It's a really great way for a granddaughter or somebody just getting into makeup to be able to dip their toe. I got a hair across my face. To be able to dip their toe into how nice Revlon glosses are. I love those. All right, friends, I do believe that is everything that I have for you today that I wanted to share with you that I'm really super loving over the past couple months. And you know, I try so much makeup and skincare that it gets a little bit overwhelming at times, but this is a great way for you to see what I've tried, what I've tested, and then bring together, and then what I maybe don't like, like those couple other products. So hopefully you enjoyed this. Please give it a thumbs up on your way out of here. I so appreciate that. And I will update you about my how I'm doing with my surgery. I'll let everybody know that. And I love you guys so much. Thank you for all of your support, and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah. Love ya. Bye.